Hi, have you been considering buying the TS100 Soda Line kit from eBay starting at £117? Do you fancy the same sort of kit, just a little bit cheaper? Stay here and I'll show you how to get it. There's two kits out on eBay at the moment. One's the 12 and one kit and one's the 9 and one They're both practically the same. They both comprise of a TS100 iron. It's a 65 watt iron with the temperature stability plus or minus two degrees. It runs from 100 to 400 degrees and it's controllable by this, these buttons here on the front. They come with nine tips. The nine tips are the KU, the C4, the L, the B2, the BC2, the D24, the K, the ILS, the C1. They also come with a box, a stent and a wrench which is basically an arm key and you also can get an XT60 power connector and a T stand. Now I actually bought all of these or most of them bought a few iron tips for a total of £83.72 I bought an iron which was £37.66, a stand for £8.49, four tips and a case which is this case here for £11.29. So basically I've got the full kit practically which is here once you put the iron in for a lot less than the full kit because you don't need all the tips you only need a set amount most irons you use these days you'll stay with one tip so I do actually feel as if I'm spoiling myself having a range of tips but I think five tips is enough for anybody. Right so anyway I'm going to go through all this and give you the rundown on what I got for £83. Right first of all we'll go through the tips. These are the tips here. Right, that's it's like a little horseshoe shaped one or a hoof. Uh, this is probably one of the best ones for doing um, flowing with solder when you want to do a IC. This one is a sharp tip, a bit like a dart. This one's like a little knife. And this one's like a larger knife. You also got a stand. It's quite heavy actually. It's made of ceramic. It's got a cork base to stop it slipping. And my stand came with two sponge units which are quite thin but I've actually watered one to actually show you what a moist sponge looks like and that's what it would stay like in the holder and that's how the iron would fit on something like that right um, I'm moving swiftly moving on the case it's an aluminium case Gives you the picture of the kit on the front. It's just like a little little armoured suitcase with a catch. And as you can see, there's a lot of places for each individual tip. So for instance, you might want to put your tips in like this. I mean most times you'll only stick to one maybe two tips and most irons aren't really all that interchangeable so so i feel fairly spoiled having as many tips right so we'll get round to opening this box here i'm just gonna sharpen them in right it's wrapped in cellophane
So what you get is a, a small black box. It's like a large, actually it's like a large max, match box. Got a cover. With a manual by the looks of it. I can see it says important safety instructions. There's a small wrench with two screws. Important safety instructions obviously gives you a little bit of a rundown on the iron and how to put it together. Right, it's quite small. It's got a little cover to protect the screen. Take that off. And it's got a, it looks like a on button possibly for temperature up and down. And it also comes with another tip. This one's a very small ended tip. And I think this one is the BC2. So we'll try the tip in. The screw is actually fully driven home, so don't try and force the tips in when you first get it. Make sure that you loosen them off. Also set the direction in which you want the tip to work at. I would probably have it facing down over or just slightly off centre. So you can work like that. That seems nice. There you go, that's it tightened up. I'm not going to over tighten it. And next what we'll do is we'll try it on a power supply. Right, we've got the iron set up. I've got a Dell power supply, it runs at 19 volts. So we'll plug it in. Version 2 one yet. Let's see up there now. It's very fast. It's went straight to 300, so we can take it higher or lower via pressing these buttons. And what I would say is this go tinned up as soon as possible. It's actually um, melt the solar very quick so it seems to be a very popular iron with their uh, surface mount work and people are doing the, um, the RC drones and stuff like that and uh, I would say it's good value for money as well it's portable very portable Okay, you have to use a power supply with it or, or a battery, but um, I think the problem with a lot of portable lines is they don't reach temperatures or the hard to maintain temperatures. This one, it seems to be, it's, uh, it, it seems to be very good at uh, holding its own temperature. What I would say is this case hasn't got a place in it for the Allen key, and it would have been nice just to have a little slot, say, here just to pop the key into. So that might be an oversight on behalf of the makers, but you know, I mean, I suppose you can't have everything. The iron will actually go into a standby mode. If the iron doesn't actually detect anything, what will happen is it'll actually just go into a standby mode. And I don't know if you can see the screen here. It's showing you that it's heating. But what will happen is if it's, be, if it's left for any length of time, it hasn't been programmed yet, if it's left, it will go into a standby mode and drop down to a lower temperature. Anyway, that's a little short review of this iron. Um, you've seen it exactly how I've seen it coming out the box. And uh, hopefully a little bit later, I'll be able to do a demo of a little bit of soldering. And then you can see the iron actually at work. Anyway, I have, I have uh, tinned the tip anyway, so it's probably best that, I'd, that I've done that. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and like my videos.